Hello, and welcome to What's New in NX11 Sketching. We're going to take a quick look at some of the new features in the Sketcher in NX11. The very first thing we want to look at is the new Sketch Relations Browser. With the new Relations Browser, we can quickly interrogate how our sketches were put together and what's tied to what based either on constraints or curves, things we want to pick on the screen, or all the objects in the sketch. We can see here now the status of what's totally constrained and what still might need some more constraints. After we looked at the Sketch Relations Browser, we'll now look at a handy new tool to line things up either vertically or horizontally. In our first example, we'll pick some circles and line them up vertically based on their, their arc centers. The next one, we'll take the box and using the inferred midpoint of the lines, we'll get that midpoints to line up around the center of the sketch. We'll also have one of them be horizontal and one of them vertical. Now as we drag that box around, it stays centered on our sketch origin. The next thing you'll notice, we're going to go ahead now and scale the end of our sketch. So we pick the curves we want, would like to scale, and then we'll have our scale origin and our scale factor. And as we pull on the, the vector to move our sketch based on where the origin is, we get different results. Here we get the result based of our origins back there in the sketch a little bit. Now we'll scoot it up more to where our scale factor starts from. And we see we get a different result because it's scaling literally around that point. We'll move it back and get even a different kind of result. And one last one, just to kind of see the kind of control we now have to scale curves. The next thing we want to look at is the brand new scale on first dimension. What we're going to do now is we're going to pick the very first dimension in the sketch. These are all inferred dimensions and give it a value. And when we do that, you will see that the sketch immediately is now scaled to that brand new size. All the dimensions in the sketch have changed. Another thing now with NX11 is the sketches and the numbers and the dimensions all stay relative to where they were. There's no longer moving all the dimensions around the screen to get them back to where you need them. It will now try to put them in the place that's best for what the scale factor was. The next thing you'll notice now too is as we go ahead and move our sketch around, you get the great trace lines of what, how things were. The next thing we want to do now is we want to go look at large sketch performance. In this example here, we're going to take these legacy curves that we brought in and bring them into a sketch. And when we do that and add them into the sketch, we'll pick them all and it'll be 368 curves. And when we do that, we'll get a warning message, or a, not a warning message, but an information message that says, look, you have all this stuff picked. Would you like to turn on or off all the things required to do large sketch performance? So we'll take the defaults and say yes. Now we can work with these large sketches. One more time to show how the scale of first dimension works, we'll take the, the bore of that hole and we'll, and we'll add a little bit to it and the entire sketch still does scale. In our last example, what we want to do is we want to take the sketch we have here. We want to create kind of like a tracer or a follower to this. So we're going to go ahead and create a circle. And when we do that circle now, we're going to create a couple of the new constraints. The first constraint is going to be we're going to make these two items tangent to a string. And the second one is we want to take the handle and we want to make it perpendicular to that string. And that's an entire string. The last thing we want to do is give our handle a fixed length. And now what we can do is we can drag along that curve and see how that follower or other things are going to operate. This will work very well for kind of doing kind of layout studies and other things we need to do in 2D world. I'm glad you were able to spend the time with us today to look at some of the new features in NX11 Sketcher. Thank you.